everyone. Myself, Prayag Patel, working as assistant professor in ITICD department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Now, in today's video lecture, I will discuss about the next topic of the graph theory as a partitions of integers. So, here first we understand what is the partitions. Here, in number theory, we are conformed with the partitions a positive integer n into the positive summands and seeking the number of such partitions without regard to order. So here without order, here we only understand the how we can partition the numbers. The number is denoted by P of n. So partition of the number is denoted by P of n. For example, P of 1 is equal to 1. That means number 1 can be partitioned into only one way as a only we write the number 1. Now P2. P2 means number 2 represented in how many ways? So here we can say that the number 2 represented in two ways like first we write the 2 or we write the 1 plus 1. So here two way available for writing the 2. Now P3. That means how many way available for writing the 3? So here 3 way available like first is directly we write 3. Second way is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Third way is 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. So total 3 way available for writing the 3. So P3 is equal to 3. Now P4. P4 equal to 5. That means Different different five way available for writing the four. So first is four. Second one is three plus one. Next one is a two plus two. Next one is a two plus one plus one. And last one is a one plus one plus one plus one. So these five ways are available for writing the four. Now after that P5. P5 equal to seven. That means partition of five is equal to seven. So different different seven way available for writing the five like five four plus one three plus two three plus one plus one two plus two plus one two plus one plus one plus one or we can write the five times one so these all are the considered as a partition of the five so basically partition means how many different different way available for writing this particular number now we should like to obtain p of n for a given n without having to list all the partitions. So here this is a simple way in writing the partition simply list out all the possible ways. But without listing how we can directly find the partition. So in this unit we discuss about the how we can directly find the partition of the particular number. So we need a tool to keep a track of the numbers of 1s, number of 2s, number of n's that are used as the summons for n. So here how many times 1 is used, how many times 2 is used, how many times 3 is used, up to the how many times n is used. According to this scenario, we can find the result of the partition of the integers without listing all the elements. Now here, for n belongs to z plus the number of ones we can use is 0 or 1 or 2 or up to the n the power series 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube keeps account of this for us so here 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube is represented how many times 1 is repeated now for the second element 2 in like manner, 1 plus x square plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 6. Keep the track of the number of 2's in the particular sequence. So here, first series 1 plus x means we increase the x power by 1. Then this gives the result as a 1 repeated how many times. 1 used for how many times. Now if we increase the x raised to power by 2, then this represent the two's partitions. So 1 plus x square plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 6 plus x raised to 8. These all are representing number of two's. Now, while 1 plus x cube plus x raised to 6 plus x raised to 9. Now here we increase the x raised to power by 3. 
so this represents the number of threes same way we can write the number for four as a one plus x plus x raised to four plus x raised to eight like this now therefore in order to determine the p of 10 for the instance we want to coefficient of x raised to 10 so here our function is f of x equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube. This first part represents the number of ones. Now second part, 1 plus x square plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 6. This part represents the number of twos. Third part, 1 plus x cube plus x raised to 6 plus x raised to 9. This third part represents the number of threes. Up to, we have a total 10 number. So, we can represent the last portion as a 1 plus x raised to 10 plus x raised to 20 plus x raised to 30 like this. So this function f of x represents the determinant find the p of 10. How we can find the partition of 10. Now in another way we can write this equation is like g of x. So g of x equal to 1 plus x plus x square up to the x raised to 10. Here last point is x raised to 10 because we want to find the 10 end. second part is 1 plus x square plus x raised to 4 up to the x raised to 10 third part is a 1 plus x cube x raised to 6 plus x raised to 9 and last part is a 1 plus x raised to 10 so this is a another way for writing the same equation for the p of 10 we perform to work with f of x because it can be written in the more compact form so here we understand using f of x we discard the g of x. Both are valid f of x and g of x. But here we only consider the f of x part. So our equation is like f of x equal to 1 upon 1 minus x into 1 upon 1 minus x square into 1 upon 1 minus x raised to 3. So this is a common form up to the 10. So if we write this equation for p of 10, then 1 upon 1 minus x into 1 upon 1 minus x square into 1 minus 1 upon x raised to 3 up to 1 upon 1 minus x raised to 10. Now we rewrite this equation and we write the equation in common form as a 1 upon 1 minus x raised to i from i equal to 1 to 10. So these all are the multiplication. So here we write this equation in a common form. Now this is represented for only 10 number because here we write the pi from i equal to 1 to 10. But if we want to write this equation for the infinitive elements, then our equation p of x equal to pi i equal to 1 to infinitive 1 divided by 1 minus x raised to i. So this is a common form for writing the or finding the partition p of x. Now after that, understand the partition using some example. First is, find the Generating function for the number of ways an advertising agent can purchase a minutes and belongs to Z plus of L time if time slot for the commercial come in block of 30, 60 or 120 seconds. So advertising agent want to give the advertise according to time slot 30, 60 and 120 seconds. Now here, first for the 30. Let 30 seconds represent one time unit. Then the answer is the number of integer solution to the equation is a plus 2b plus 4c. Now while we write the a plus 2b plus 4c, so first a means 30. Plus 2b means two time we can use this second term, then four time we use the third term, then we will get the 30, 60, 120. Is equal to 2n with 0 less or equal to a, b, c. Now, the associated generating functions is f of x equal 1 plus x plus x square up to the infinitive time. Second part, 1 plus x square plus x raised to 4 because second part is a double than first part. So this is represent by 2. So x square, x raised to 4, x raised to 6 like this. Now third part is a 4c. That means third part is a 1 plus x raised to 4 plus x raised to 8 like this. So here, Common equation for this is 1 upon in place of 1 plus x plus x square we write the 1 upon 1 minus x. Now for the second part we write the 1 upon 1 minus x square and for the third part we write the 1 upon 1 minus x raised to 4. So this three part multiplication is represented by f of x. Now here consider the second example, example number 2. 
find the generating function for PDN, the number of partition of the positive integer n into distinct summits. So here our criteria is each and every element in a submission is different. It is called the distinct summits. So before we start, let us consider the 11 partition of the 6. So here we want to find the PD6. Means partition of the distinct element is considered as a PD. So PD6 means 6 represented in different different ways. So here 11 possibilities for writing the 6. So first is 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to 6 time. Second, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2. Third, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3. 1 plus 1 plus 4. Next one is a 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2. 6 is 1 plus 5. 7 is 1 plus 2 plus 3. Next is 2 plus 2 plus 2. 9 is 2 plus 4. 10 is 3 plus 3. 11 is 6. So these 11 are different different possibilities for writing the 6. Now, this is called the P of 6. This 11 is considered as a P of 6, not as a PD6. Now, what is PD6? PD6 means here consider the equation number 6, 7, 9, and 10. This four option considered here. In this four option, for example, in sixth option, element is 1 plus 5. So 1 and 5 both are different. In seventh option, element is 1, 2, and 3. So all the three are different. In option 9, element is a 2. 2 plus 4. So here both are different. In 10 possibility we can also consider the 11 possibility as a only 6. So these all are the different elements. So here in 10 3 plus 3 is not a different element but here in place of 10 we consider the 11. So partition is 6, 7, 9 and 11 have the distinct summations. So PD6 is equal to 4. Which number? Equation number 6, equation number 7, equation number 9, and equation number 11. So different element available is called the PD. So this is a simple example. Now, in calculating PD n for each n belongs to Z means. Previous example, we find only the PD6. That means for the 6 only. Now for the common equation, how we can find the PD n? So PD x is equal to 1 plus x. 1 plus x square, 1 plus x cube, up to the last element as an infinity. Is equal to pi i equal to 1 to infinity, 1 plus x raised to i. So this is a common equation for calculating this. Now, for the previous example, n equal to 6, here consider the x raised to 6. So 1 plus x, 1 plus x square, up to the 1 plus x raised to 6. And result of this equation is equal to 4. So our answer is same. Now after that, consider the third example. Considering the partition in example 2, we see that there are 4 partitions of 6 into odd summits, namely 1, 3, 6 and 10. So here all the 11 possibilities are available here. Now in this possibility, we want to find the odd summits. That means here we consider the all the element as an odd number. So in possibility 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 means this all the element as an odd number. Now in possible number 3, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3, these all are the odd number. Now in 6, 1 plus 5, all are odd. In 10, 3 plus 3, all are odd, odd number. So here, we want to find the odd numbers possibilities. So for that, we can use this formula. The generating function for the sequence P00, P01, P02 is given by common equation P0x equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube, then 1 plus x cube plus x raised to 6 plus x raised to 9. Next one is a 1 plus x raised to 5 plus x raised to 10, 1 plus x raised to 7 like this. Now here if we want to find the formula for the odd values, then that means first part is for the 1. Second part is for the 3, third part x raised to 5 is for the 5, fourth part x raised to 7 is for the 7. So same way we can use the equation as a all the odd equation and we will get the result. So here first is 1 upon 1 minus x, second 1 upon 1 minus x cube into 1 upon 1 minus x raised to 5 into 1 upon 1 minus x raised to 7. So this is a common formula for finding this odd summations. 
Now for that, here we consider the one upon one minus x, one upon one minus x cube, one upon one minus x raised to five, and one upon x one minus x raised to seven is the previous reason. Now, here we consider the one plus x is equal to one minus x square divided by one minus x. In place of one plus x square, we consider the one minus x raised to four divided by one minus x square. One plus x cube is equal to one minus x raised to six divided by one minus x cube. So using this formula, here we write we know already the p d x equal to equation one plus x one plus x square plus one plus x cube plus one plus x raised to four. Now in place of one plus x, we write here one minus x square divided by one minus x. For the second part, one plus x square, we write here one minus x raised to four divided by one minus x square. For the third portion, we write the one minus x raised to six divided by one minus x cube like this. When we solve this equation p d x, then we will get the p d x equal to one upon one minus x into one upon one minus x cube, and this is a equivalent to the p zero x. So this is a solution for this example. Now here last point of this lecture is Ferris graph. Now here what is the concept of this graph? Here we represent this graph in form of this figure. So in this figure we represent the element by row and column so in this concept use the rows of the dots to represent a partitions of an integer where the number of dots per row does not increase as we go from any row to its next row its below row so here for example in first figure we have a four element in first row in second row three element in third row three element in next row two element then one element then one element that means always you decrease element or equal element but never you can increase the element from above row to below row so in this figure we find the graph for the two partitions of 14 so here for the 14 what is the possibility first possibility is 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 so in first row we use the four dot in second row use the three dot in third row use the three dot in next row use the two dot then last two row as a one dot now second representation is 6 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 14 so second figure b represent the first row having a six element second row having a four element third row having a three element and last row having a one element now here in graph a and b what is the scenario if we swap or if we transpose the graph if we transpose the row as a column and column as a row then figure b become a figure a as a transpose of b and vice versa figure b is a transpose of figure a so simply we can say that both are the transpose of each other now here this graph obtain suggest result about the partitions Here we see a partitions of 14 into some ends, where 4 is the largest value in first row, figure A. So 4 is the largest. That means here we consider the max, maximum value for the A is 4. Now in the second partition, here number of row is equal to 4. That means in first figure we consider the 4 as the highest number. So in second part 4 is a number of elements. so in common way we can write the number of partition of the integer n into m summons is equal to the number of partition of n into the summons where m is the largest so in this lecture we discuss about the what is partition and how we can find the partition without listing all the elements thank you for watching this video